Hey guys, it's your best boxing friends. I'm Kelsey. This is Rachel. Rachel, I don't know the topic. <laughs> well, first things first. Hey, yo, welcome back, y'all. We're we, back. We took a long break. Uh, every summer, our niece, nieces and nephew come and visit us. The number of them is dwindling, though, because they're, 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 they're aging older. out of the system. <laughs> so I'm only got two this year, although technically another niece came from my side of the family. So we had some people here this week. We took the week off last week. And now we're good timing because there wasn't much in the way of boxing. Yeah, there actually wasn't any significant fights on last <laughs> weekend. So not that we do a lot of previews, but there wasn't just a whole lot to talk about, or at least yeah. that we wanted to talk about. So now we're back and we're better than ever, ever, ever. Everything we do echoes, 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 except this. Anyway, thanks for watching. What are we talking about today? I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what I want to talk about today, what Rachel. What do you want to talk about? I am so excited about Manny Pacquiao and Keith Thurman. I cannot wait for this fight. I'm going to write an article about this, okay? But I want to talk to you about the word atrophy. Is that the right word? Atrophy? Uh, you have to tell me more before I can tell you if it's the right word. Or is it atrophy? Muscle atrophy. Atrophy. Okay. okay. Atrophy. There's two kind of atrophies at play in this fight between Manny Pacquiao and Keith Thurman. And it's going to be interesting to see which one wins out. Manny Pacquiao has the atrophy that comes along with your natural decline that happens to everyone as you grow older. He's 40 years old, mm -hmm. right? So that happens to fighters as they grow. But Manny Pacquiao has stayed busy against elite level opposition. He was last in the ring not too long ago beating the crap out of Adrian Broner. Right. And the only reason that Adrian Broner made it through the 12 rounds of that fight was because he stopped trying to win the fight. Right. He tried to like really go after Pacquiao twice, and both times he got beaten down significantly and was like, the hell with this. Mm -hmm. So Manny has the atrophy of age, but has been staying sharp and active. Keith Thurman is not old by fighter standards, mm -hmm. but he hasn't fought in the ring. Um, he, he has had one fight since, I think, March 2017, and that mm -hmm. one fight was against Josecito Lopez, who, while I love Cito Lopez as like you know a good fighter, he's not elite as far as Walter goes at all. And um, Thurman had his work cut out from that fight. He got hurt badly in that fight. So the atrophy that comes with, I stepped away from the sport for a long time. I haven't been in the ring with an elite level professional in at least since I fought Danny Garcia probably in 2017. Which which atrophy's worse? What do you think, Rachel? Um, I don't know. I, it may, I think it makes for an interesting, like, fight. Yeah. Because rather than taking, you know, Pacquiao versus, you know, Terrence Crawford, I feel like this is more of an even matchup because, you know, Pacquiao has the, you know, wild card of age, and we don't know what, what that brings to the ring. And Thurman has a wild card of, like, you know, being, being an alien and, like, not really fighting all that much and doing whatever he wants to out in the world yeah. and you know not being the typical boxer yeah right yeah my dad called me uh just today actually and he was like hey who said i've been on the big fight and i was like first of all what big fight it's <laughs> next weekend but the big fight may back over ski thurman and i said well dad typically you wouldn't want to put money down on a fighter that's 40 years old like you just have to stay away from that but that being said I don't know. Like, I don't see how you can bet against Manny Pacquiao in this situation because I'm not sure that Thurman, first of all, prime for prime, there's there's no doubt that Pacquiao was a better fighter than Keith Thurman. Yeah, yeah. Thurman's done a really great job, but he hasn't stayed active or done enough. We've talked about this a lot. And I think that an active Keith Thurman in boxing is great for the sport. I hope he stays active. But if you're going up against one of the best fighters ever in Manny Pacquiao, and I know that he's 40 years old, but he still fights at a supremely high level. He's still very difficult to prepare for against because who can you get the spar that is that fast that can hit you with that short of arms from that long away who's yeah. a southpaw who has moved up in weight and still has like a ridiculous amount of power. Who can you get to prepare for that? Keith Thurman is a very good boxer, but he um, I don't know if he has the speed. He does. He'll have to time Paco coming in. Can he time him coming in because he's got longer arms. He's going to have to time him. He doesn't have the speed advantage. Thurman has good power, but here's the thing that scares me about Keith Thurman. And I've been to a, we've been well, to a couple Thurman of his have fights. Does Thurman good power? Like, at this level? I, here's the thing. Like, I've seen Keith Thurman in some tough spots against way lesser fighters than Manny Pacquiao. Even a 40-year-old Manny Pacquiao. Yeah. So I'm saying, if Jose Cito Lopez could knock the crap out of you in that round, Manny Pacquiao can hit you 10 times that hard. 10 <laughs> times at least that hard, I'm saying. Like, he can hit you that much. So, I don't know. I'm excited about the fight. I'm mostly excited because it's two of the best welterweights in the world. 
And yes, Keith Thurman, one of the best welterweights in the world. He's undefeated. He has a title. I'm going up against each other, and I want to see more of that in boxing. I love it. I'm excited about it. Yeah. For me, uh, I think it's funny because I go through stages with, like, Pacquiao, where I'm like, I've had enough. It's time for you to retire. And then I'm like, oh, I'm so happy to see Pacquiao again. Like, yeah. we're still fighting. So right now I'm in a stage where I'm like, I'm really happy to see Pacquiao still fighting. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'm real, I, I am kind of excited for the fight. And... And yeah, I wouldn't want to place like uh, money on this fight. Like that's a, it's a really hard fight to. Yeah, to I haven't seen the odds, odds lately. When they opened, Pacquiao was a slight underdog, so it was plus money on Pacquiao. Since then, I think that it's close to where it's more even mm -hmm. than that. Um, I don't know. The thing about this fight is that I just, I just don't think you can bet against. I feel like Manny Pacquiao will win a decision because from what I've seen from Keith Thurman. Thurman has been in some spots where he really could have stepped it up and come after and try to make a statement and win big, and he hasn't done that. He didn't do that against Danny Garcia. He didn't really do that against John Porter. He's a really good yeah, fighter. Yeah, I feel like I just haven't seen enough from Thurman in yeah. recent history right. to show that uh, yeah. he can really come in and, and take over against Pat yeah. for even a 40-year-old Pacquiao. Yeah, if he does beat Pacquiao, that's great. Like That'd be yeah, great for be boxing because right. uh, Thurman is in his prime. I love him on the mic. I think he's a lovable guy. I think that I just wanted to fight more. So like, yeah, I wanted to fight more. See, say he does beat Pacquiao. <laughs> Don't disappear for a year, Keith. Like, I'm like, is this really the guy I want to beat Pacquiao? Because beating Pacquiao, um, like, puts you, like, it gives you the Some kind of power. Yeah. Yeah, like you have, like, oh my goodness, this does a lot for somebody's career. Yeah. And like, I'm like, oh, but but Thurman. As much as I like love somebody who's owning their life and living it how they want to live and you know, you do what you want, like, you know, yeah. I'm also like, well, it seems like it's it's kinda of wasted. Love you as a person, Keith. <laughs> love what you're doing for yourself. But we love boxing, right? We want the fighters to fight. We want to see Keith Thurman against all the best welterweights. Now he's starting here with Manny Pacquiao. And I don't know, Keith says some things in the media that I don't really always believe. So <laughs> I don't think he's gonna disappear again, but who knows, maybe he will. Um, well, we don't. We won't disappear again unless our nieces and nephews come down for a week or some other thing happens. But you can, for the most part, count on us to be here week in and week out doing the hard work of loving you, first of all, loving boxing, second of all, and just giving you our thoughts and opinions on the sport that we love and the fighters that we love, too. And we ask that you don't disappear and you can show us your appearance. I like and comment and subscribe. Don't be a ghost. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, send us money. Um, talk us up to people. You know, have our backs out there in the world. Do that for us and we'll do that for you.